U.S. Army's long-range hypersonic weapon flight testing. The U.S. Army will have a couple of live fire flight tests this fiscal year for its hypersonic weapon program as it works toward fielding the missile in the coming months, according to the three-star officer leading the effort. Lieutenant General Rob Rash, director of the Rapid Capabilities and Critical Technologies Office, said today the long-range hypersonic weapon program is still on track to field to units by the end of fiscal 2023. Rash said that the tests will characterize the glide body, the two-stage rocket motor and ground support equipment. Asked what would happen if the test fails, Rash said the Recto team would manage risk. If we have an anomaly and we don't reach our threshold, then we'll sit down, analyze it and talk amongst the team and manage the risk as we go, Rash said during an event hosted by Defense News. Soldiers with the I Corps 5th Battalion, 3rd Field Artillery Regiment, 17th Field Artillery Brigade at Joint Base Lewis M. C. Cord, Washington, have been training with the LRHW since last September, when Ruto was able to send the ground equipment. That equipment included a battery operations center, four transporter erector launchers and modified trucks and trailers. Each launcher holds two rounds. The unit is trained, and we're now working to finish up the testing and then the actual build-out of the all-up round, Rash said. The Army is working with the Navy to develop the common hypersonic glide body, which the Sea Service will use for its conventional prompt strike missile. The Navy plans to field its first live rounds in fiscal year 2025, while the Army is procuring its second battery. The long-range hypersonic weapon is one of the Army's top 35 modernization programs and can fly at least 1,725 miles. The weapon is a key priority under the service's long-range precision fires initiative, which also includes the precision strike missile, extended-range cannon artillery and mid-range capability. The mid-range capability and precision strike missile are also scheduled to field to units this fiscal year. Fiscal year 2023 is an important year for the Army's modernization priorities, as the service plans to have 24 of its 35 modernization either fielded or in prototyping. Asked if the service would be able to reach the goal, Army Assistant Secretary for Acquisition, Logistics and Technology Doug Bush said he was confident. We have a very well-informed plan to do so. Of course, there are risks. So one thing we do very well and we're going into some test cycles on new equipment, just learn from the testing, adapt our plans and then move from there, Bush said. So not everything is going to go perfectly, but that's the point of doing the test. Thank you for watching please like, share, comment, and subscribe.